when people think about people with special needs, they think they're slow, they're like small like groups and they they don't know how to do anything and they're just like a strain on their family. But that's not true. I have ADHD. I'm dyslexic. I also have some I also have some like special like needs like for example like sensory needs. I grew up like in like an education system where we were put into like small groups and we were laughed at by other kids in our like year group. Like when special like visitors came, they didn't really talk to us. We were just like hidden and that's like how some of us felt. And so when when I came here to do this program, I felt like people were actually listening to me and like understood because I was like with other people like me and we were talking about our like special like needs and if we have any and we were talking about our experiences and it was quite nice to know that I wasn't alone. You don't feel stupid when you ask a question. That's what I like I like about this program. I don't feel like an idiot when I come in not knowing anything. Like the fact that they did this perfectly where we all felt included and we were all felt like we belonged here when some of us haven't felt like they've belonged anywhere. We learned about how to help people with like mental health problems and that's actually quite nice for me because I have like OCD and we talked about how like it's not we talked about how some movies and like some TV shows like glorify or like make it seem like people with mental illnesses like are a danger to themselves a danger to others when really they're a danger to, more likely to themselves and are more worried about people thinking that they're a danger to others today we did peer support training and we were put into groups of two and we were told scenarios and we were given certain people to talk about for example I'm Jade and I've been bullied and it's affecting my sleep what advice would you give her and how would you show that you actually care so we went and we talked to each other we did like a scenario scene and we we gave each other advice but before then we were taught about what to say and what not to say like for example you shouldn't go about diagnosing people, you're not a doctor, you're not qualified. And we talked about how um, there's like safeguarding, like there's confidentiality, but once you start talking about like big things like self-harming, suicide, and endangering yourself, that confidentiality is, not, is like, is gone and you talk to like the relevant people. Well, I think the peer education program is great for like people with like special needs, uh, special educational needs. Like the fact that they give you the time of day and they listen to you and they even like give you some like certain advice. Even once you leave the program, you're, the people are still there for you. They're, they're sending you things like if you're interested in filming, if you're interested in become like a writer, producer or anything they will help you no matter what I didn't really have that many qualifications already from school because I struggled so much in it so the fact that they taught us a lot and gave us like a self-esteem boost that we never had in fact we got qualifications whilst doing this doing this like peer education program is like great for people like me or just like people in general who struggled in that mainstream education and who have just wanted like someone to like help them individually or even with a group of people that they know that you'll relate to.